my Somerville and Medford residents, I'm Christine Barber, and I'm proud to be the state representative for the 34th Middlesex District, which includes neighborhoods in Somerville and Medford, including Winter Hill, West Somerville, Medford Hillside, and South Medford. I'd like to use this opportunity to talk about my work as your state representative and ask for your vote on September 6th and November 8th. I'm a lifelong progressive activist. I'm driven by a passion for social justice and the activism of people in our communities who work together to address all the issues before us. Before running for office, I was a healthcare advocate and I worked on policy change to expand access to healthcare and health justice, both in Massachusetts and at the national level on laws like the Affordable Care Act. After working closely with grassroots activists, I learned that I could have a real impact on bringing about change at the state house. Looking at an issue, whether healthcare, housing or climate change through the lens of public health shines a light on the disparities that exist for our most vulnerable populations. And that's what's inspired me to run for office and work with you as your state representative. With so many challenges facing us right now, between attacks on our rights by the Supreme Court, continuing to address the COVID pandemic, to rising housing costs, it's more important than ever that we work together to find solutions. I've served as state representative since 2015, and in that time, I've worked closely with community members to pass legislation to bring about progressive change. I've been part of organized efforts to make change with the people of Somerville and Medford, and I know that together we can continue to take on the hard fights. There's a lot of work ahead, but I also wanna talk about some of the areas where we are making real progress. I'm leading on reproductive rights. I work closely with local activists to pass the Roe Act last session, and I'm proud that Massachusetts now codifies the right to reproductive care in law. With the recent Supreme Court case that overturned Roe v. Wade, I stepped up to support immediate passage of a bill to safeguard health care for patients here in Massachusetts and also those who travel here for reproductive care and for our doctors who provide abortions in other states. We're also ensuring gender affirming care is provided to all of our residents and guaranteeing coverage for contraceptives and ensuring access to birth control. We have an urgent need to address climate change as we continue to face extreme heat, flooding and other disasters caused by our overuse of greenhouse gases. We've made progress and we recently passed a bill that greatly expands wind energy here in Massachusetts builds out our electric vehicle infrastructure and moves us away from fossil fuels. At the same time, our transit system needs to be as green and clean as possible. Our buses and the commuter rails that run through our cities are past due to be electrified. Working with local activists, I filed a bill to electrify our buses to limit the pollution in our communities. And we recently passed my amendment that would authorize funding for that work. Public transit only works if it's accessible, and I'm continuing to fight for affordable transit, including pushing for a fare-free bus pilot. At the same time, there are huge problems with the T that need our attention, and I'm pushing for both more accountability and funding for public transit. We're both on the cusp of greater access through the very long-awaited Green Line extension to Somerville and Medford, and also pushing the T administration to improve basic safety and reliability to make sure that all riders can get to work or to school. But we can do this. We've shown that we can do big things when we work together. We're also making real progress on road safety here in Somerville and Medford. I've secured funding and I continue to push the Mass DOT to plan the sorely needed changes to Mystic Avenue and McGrath Highway. With renewed activism at Alewife Brook Parkway, I've worked to get funding to improve safety for pedestrians and all road users. We need to double down on efforts to make sure housing is affordable for all of our residents. A statewide housing crunch has brought skyrocketing rent increases to our region. We have some tools to deal with this, like my recent law that we passed to require all communities to create multifamily housing near public transit. And now I'm focused on extending tenant protections, funding more rental assistance, 
and building more affordable housing and accessible housing for people with disabilities. I've also been leading on issues like immigrant justice. I'm the lead sponsor of the Work and Family Mobility Act, a bill that we passed that will allow anyone to get a driver's license regardless of their immigration status. I worked closely with local partners to pass this bill, improve the safety on our roads, and ensure all residents, no matter their immigration status, can apply for a driver's license so they can get to work, take their children to school, or a doctor's appointment. Passing the Work and Family Mobility Act has a huge impact on the lives of immigrant families in our state, and it would not have been possible without the activism of people in Somerville and Medford. I also remain engaged with local community groups to secure funding for education, for food security, local parks, and youth programs. I'm always actively reaching out to listen to my constituents through open communication from regular office hours to meetings at community centers or public housing to a call to my office about a vote or a constituent issue. In my experience, the way to a meaningful change is to listen to people in the community, especially those most impacted and amplifying those needs. Right now, there's no time to wait on so many issues. We have so much at stake protections for youth, voting rights, worker protections. I've fought for these rights for years and I will keep fighting with you. I continue to stand up every day for reproductive rights, immigrant justice, education, climate change, affordable housing. We've won many things on these issues through our relationships and we're going to keep working on them together. I remain a committed progressive leader with passion and energy to keep fighting for change in the Massachusetts State House. I'm looking forward to continuing to work alongside members of Somerville and Medford communities to keep fighting for progressive policies. And I hope that you'll stand with me and vote for me on September 6th. You can get more involved by going to my website at christinebarber.org. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for your continued partnership.